Matt, a tough result this afternoon. What were your initial thoughts on that one? It was a, a pretty poor game, a bitty game for, for large parts, um, certainly up until the, the sending off and then the, the penalty shortly afterwards. Um, little quality, um, but a game for competing and getting there first. And to, kind of two teams matched each other out for the first hour of that game or, or whenever it was. Um, and then the sending off has obviously changed it to a certain extent. Um, and then the penalty is the one which I'm really disappointed with, if I'm being honest with you. Talk, talk, let's talk about the two key incidents then. First, the red card, what are your thoughts on that one? Um, similar to, to Ryan's where it's on the far side, um, it, it didn't look a great tackle. Um, similar to Ryan's in terms of you giving the referee an opportunity to, to send, send you off as a player. Um, you can never quite see on our footage. Um, I'd love to see the footage of the top cameras at the top end of that stand um, to see it in real detail. And then we can make a decision whether we appeal it or not. And the penalty just seems to get the wrong side, Jake. That wasn't a penalty. It wasn't a penalty. You defend 1v1 in the box and actually arms are going to be involved. There was no pull. It was an arm, but the lad was off balance and going backwards anyway. So um, the players closest to it said it was a dive, and I, I, I trust what my players say in relation to that. But similar to the, the sending off and similar to the new put one, the referee couldn't, see, couldn't wait to, to blow his whistle and give that penalty, um, which is a shame because you know we might not have won that game, but we might have still got something out of the game um, to go down to 10 men and then to go down a goal down as well, um, if a difficult ask. Potentially without Tom Parks and now Pierce Sweeney down with an injury, what's the latest? Look, it's been a difficult day in relation to that um, and whether it's an injury or a suspension, and obviously we've got suspensions already, it's also the physical aspect of it. Um, with ten men for so long and then nine men for so long at Newport and then ten men again today and not on the back of the, the games and the travel, the lads can't keep doing that. Um, and the players have got to understand that if they feel under pressure to, to challenge and compete, you've got to do it in a way where you don't give the referee the opportunity. So both Tom and Ryan have been disappointed with that um, and it's the, the, the rest of the players who've had to put in the extra work. And let's say it might not cost us as much in terms of points and, and, and goals today, but I can guarantee you there'll be some tired bodies going into Tuesday and then the following Saturday, and it'd be a build up again. We saw perhaps most in, in the first half, it was quite a bitty game, quite stop start. It was a poor game, wasn't it? It was a poor game, let's be honest about it. We can't push it up any other way. Um, it was a poor game. We, we actually got the ball in some quite positive areas to hurt him. Um, I thought the delivery was really poor. Very rarely did we put any quality in, and that included set pieces. Um, so maybe you'd say Jack Sparks, Jacob Priest had a poor day in terms of delivery, but there was other players on the pitch as well. And it, it was never quite going to happen in terms of scoring that, that type of goal. So we had to grind it out and grind out the middle of the pitch. And that's why you need all the bodies doing the right thing. Um, so unfortunately, a couple of decisions have cost us, but we played a part in those decisions. Well, it was a case of deja vu as well. Ben C. Martin to be sacrificed after a red card. Deja vu, mate. It's, it's the right thing to do in terms of trying giving yourself a chance. Um, but like I say, it's, it's the amount they've put in. Ben Seymour was on a low today anyway, in the back of his 90 minutes on Tuesday night. So people talk about sacrificing Ben Seymour. I honestly don't care in relation to that. Um, it's about what's doing right for this group of players. And, and Ben, in fairness, he, he played tired today. He wouldn't have played if Ryan had been available. Um, that was his first 90 minutes in a long time. First 90 minutes on a, a sapping pitch. And he had very little energy and that probably showed in his performance while she was on the pitch. So people talk about sacrificing players here and there. But that's as a result of what we need at the moment. And we're a little bit light. I mean, at the moment we say it every week, but there's a game just around the corner. Yeah, game around the corner. Somewhere like that group of players have got to find some energy. We asked them for energy today and we probably didn't quite have it in us as much as we've had recently. Um, but somehow we've got to pick ourselves up. And look, we've got two home games, so less travelling involved. Um, obviously, the space suspensions and potential injuries will certainly hurt us in relation today. Um, but we need that group of players ready for Tuesday night because that's the next big game.